Hey guys, today we're going to attempt to install the rudder kit on my Jackson Journey. It's a 14 foot touring kayak. Um, <clears throat> I've got all the parts I ordered from Austin Kayak. They just came in the mail uh, a couple of days ago. So we're gonna show you what parts we've got and then we're gonna see if I can follow the instructions and get it all put together. I haven't found any videos on this, uh, on this install on YouTube, which is normally how I learn how to put things together, but there aren't any, so I figured I would make a video, put it up so y'all could learn from what I did or maybe learn from my mistakes. So here we the go. The first one you see right here, I had to go buy from Lowe's. I got two, well there's three in the package, but I needed two quarter 20 by half inch uh, bolts to mount the bracket onto the back of my kayak. Um, right above it here in this package is the quarter pin mounting bracket that comes separate from the rest of the kit. So this piece right here is come separate and it's about $18. There on over, all of this comes in a, in a kit from Austin Kayak. This is the mid pin uh, rudder bracket assembly. We've got the rudder itself and then the right and left tow pilot uh, controls. So these are all the pieces. Um, they come with all the cable and nuts and bolts and everything. They're all in the packages there, except for the ones that I've had to buy from Lowe's right here. So let's get to putting this together. Okay, there's one thing that I wanted to point out here about my boat in particular. It is already set up to receive a smart track rudder system here, here, and then in the back. Here we have the quarter 20 brass inserts, the rudder control cable or pipe the, the cord will run through and then your controls on both sides so it's already all set up to receive this rudder kit uh, we're just going to install it so if yours doesn't have all of this you're going to have quite a few more steps to go through okay, we're going to start out by removing the original footrest there's two bolts that go through the kayak right here and here what you're going to need is a 7 16 inch wrench and a phillips head screwdriver Stick your wrench on the inside. There you go. Get our screw and our bolt out. We're gonna put those together, save them in case we need it later. So um, as soon as I got this one out of the boat, this one here on the bottom, uh, I realized it has a bracket that kind of lowers it down farther than what it would normally be if you just mounted it directly to the boat. The new one, of course, comes with screws there and there, which is the same exact bolt pattern as the old one. It just has this plastic bracket that lowers it down in the kayak. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the bracket take it off of this one and put that onto the old one and then mount it back in the kayak just the way it came out before um, that way it's in the same position for my feet we'll use those screws that i or the bolts that i saved a while ago and we'll go back together with this thing so see if i can get a camera angle set up inside the boat so you can see the inside here so just the outside the there's one of the holes right there. I'm going to put the new rubber washers on the outside of the boat. Hopefully it'll keep it sealed up there. The old ones, the way it was, it was on the inside. I'm not sure, not sure if I like that as much, but here we go. We're going back together with the right side and then we'll switch on over and take out the left side and do the same thing. So basically, as far as these two go, um, right and left are the same. So I'll probably skip that part in the video. Here we go. It is proven to be fairly difficult to reach the, the top bolt up in there by myself. So I've turned the boat over on its side here. So it's a little closer to the ground and I can reach it a little better. You noticed I've upgraded to a 7 16 ratchet so I can tighten the nuts down from the inside. Um, that keeps from stripping out my, my rubber washers that I added to the outside right here. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this nut right here. If I can get in there. Ooh.
Okay, that should be that should be tight enough right there. And then, of course, we have to work on the top one up there, which is almost impossible to reach by yourself because you have to hold the outside with the screwdriver and then reach in with the ratchet and get the inside. So, whew, here we go. We'll attempt this again. Okay, let's move this footrest all the way forward. It's it's out of our way back there, which kind of blocks your view, but uh, I think I can reach it a little bit better without the foot brace being in the way. So, oh, try number 5,000, here we go. Oh my gosh. Ooh. So, uh, it can be done. It's, that's probably the hardest I've stretched whew, in a long time. So that one is mounted in there. Let's push this foot brace back to the bottom. So there it is. Now we'll have to flip the kayak back over and uh, do the, the right side kind of flipped around here but this is the left side I'll flip back over I'll do the last bolt on the the right side and then we can move on to putting the cables in and move on to the back of the boat I think this will be the hardest part hopefully the cables will run pretty good so here we go now we're ready to run our cables we've got both of the controllers the foot pegs installed on both sides we've got a loop of cable that runs off of each one of them we're going to take this loop of cable and then we're going to run it up through this pre-installed uh, piping here. And this pipe runs all the way through to the back of the boat. So I should be able to just stick it in here, push it through until it comes out the back. So here we go. I'm going to take the twist ties off of this here and see if we can get it uh, unkinked as much as possible before we feed it up through there. We're going to try doing this on the left side. It was a little harder on the on the right side to get it on video. So what I did was take my cable here. It's just got a flat end on this one. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna try putting it in here. This this hose that they've got installed is the exact size of the cable. So you just gotta work it in there until you kinda get it started. Oh, there we go. See it's gonna slide in there. Just like that and then I'll just keep I'll just keep working that cable in until it until it pops out the back end here it just takes a few minutes it runs pretty good for the biggest part at least on the other side it did and like I said in the beginning here um, my boat's 14 feet and uh, these cables probably still have probably two or three foot of extra cable at the end when you're done so there's definitely plenty of cable for this size boat at least oh, I'm changing my footing here Let's see if I can So that just uh, that just came out the back of the boat. So I'm going to go to the back here. Whew. There we go. There's the cable. Just came out the little hole there. Let's see if we'll focus. There we go. So go ahead and pull out all the excess. There we go. So now we've got both cables running out the back of the boat there. Now we're going to go ahead and start on uh, assembling this rear piece. So let me set the boat back up and I'll set the camera up again and we'll uh, start putting on the rudder. Here we go. Okay, so we got the boat turned back up right here and we're going to start by installing the mid pin bracket here. Get that garbage out of the way. So you can get, take a good look at it. It's got a little or a big hole at the bottom, a little hole at the top, so you can it'll give it a little bit of adjustment there. 
um, and then it's got of course the hole for your rudder to go through and then I've got my quarter 20 half inch bolts get these opened up here there's two of those put the other one aside like I said I'm gonna mount it with the the smaller hole at the top okay we'll get this started here pretty easy there with the screwdriver a little bit and then we will start our second screw there is a little bit of play you just kind of want to make sure it's it's lined up straight up and down it's not kind of given a crooked angle and go ahead and tighten those down there we go and that one's tight so if you can see very well but we've got our mid pin bracket holder in there to bring you in a little bit closer there's the mid pin bracket installed with the two screws those screwed right into the brass inserts that were pre-made into the boat so there's that part and we'll start putting the the house or the the rudder assembly on it okay so the rudder assembly comes with the housing with the uh, mid-length pin that goes with it and then it comes, of course, with two pages of instructions and a bag full of goodies. This includes the control rope that will run up to the front of the kayak here in a little bit and all the little pieces necessary to install our rudder housing. Okay. Okay, the rudder assembly comes with two of these nylon washers. We're going to stick one up here on top to keep from keep it the friction down and it also makes it a little tighter down to the keeper ring just kind of a bent split ring that you put on the bottom of the pin through these holes we're going to use this bottom hole this ring will go on there to keep the whole thing in place and then that washer will keep go right on there to keep it from wearing it'll let it uh, spin around a little easier so we'll go ahead and do that drop our housing on there here we go so got that in there you just spin it around until it's all the way through so it can't come back out so we've got our rudder assembly attached to the back and then we will probably go read the instructions a little more and then we'll put the rest of this together Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run our control line. Let's go through this hole in the, sorry, in the rudder housing, and then into this small black hose that is built into the kayak. We'll run some of that through there, and then just run it into the hole. Okay, now we're up uh, here at the cockpit. We're gonna, this is where the, the cord comes out, so we're gonna try feeding it from this end and see if we have any more luck. Okay, so I found some weed eater cord in my garage there, and it fell through just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to heat up the ends of both of these with a lighter, stick them together in line here so it's all a smooth connection, and then hopefully I'll be able to pull it through. So here we go, see if I can pull this off without jacking something up. The wind out here is getting to me. Just heat them up until they're both melting pretty good and then stick them together hopefully we can make a good weld we'll see if that'll work I'm not pulling it too hard right now but <laughs> as long as that'll all fit back through there if you can see I just melted the two ends together and we're just gonna feed it through and see if it'll go through so let me cool it off here real good and then we're gonna attempt it I mean it doesn't have to hold terribly hard it just gotta it's just gotta pull this cord through so 
me uh, get a hold to the other end down here so I can pull on it. Pull this through a little bit up to there. So it's about to go in. We'll see if we can feed it in. Yep, the cord's going to go in. So we'll get our cord all up here so it'll pull through. And here we go. It's like we got a knot, the knot out there. Straighten the cord out again. It worked that time, was a little more careful um, not to yank it through here at the end. So go ahead and feed it through the last little bit of our thing there. And then inside, let's see if I can get this at the right angle. Inside the rudder housing, there's another little loop that that cord needs to run through. There you go, so it runs up and over the top here, this kind of guides it over the top and then runs down to tie to the bottom or the back side of the rudder. So now that we've got that in there, I think we'll move on and install the rudder blade itself. Okay, so now we're ready to install our rudder, see if I can get it in frame there. There's the one side, there's the other side. The flat side is gonna face forward. So we've got this round part that's gonna face to the back. But before we do that, we need to remove this key right here. So I'll just pull that out quickly. Set that up there so I don't lose it. And then this is called the, uh, the tension knob. So let's move this cord out of the way so we don't get it mixed up in there. So you stick the blade in there, making sure there's this arm that we stuck the rope through just a minute ago sticks all the way down to here. And this notch right here, that arm should stick in that notch. So you have to make sure we get the notch up to where that arm is on top of it. And then we can stick our, whoops, well, I'll let it go. Stitch, stick our adjustment knob through the hole, making sure we got it, we got the spring is inside there now. So what they say to do is I pull this out just a tiny, tiny bit, and then you turn it until you've got the amount of tension you want on your rudder, and then you slide it back in like that. So, so if you hit something, your rudder can bend up, bend down. That's a pretty good amount of tension. I might put another another tiny bit on there, but eh, most likely not. So that's got that in there. So we're going to go ahead and stick the pin back through it there. Turn it down sideways so it's all down. Now we have our rudder right there. So we got the blade in it now, and now we just need to hook up our cord and the way we're going to do that is we're going to tie a knot oops and get this in frame here we're going to tie just a regular granny knot or overhand knot in the end here pull it down tight now i've got some pliers so i'm going to go get my pliers and tighten this up real quick So I'm going to tighten down on my knot just by pulling it, just to make sure it's tight, it's all in there. So we've got the knot and then we've got the hole with a notch in this side of the blade. Y'all can see that a little bit better. There you go. So we're going to stick that through there, kind of wedge our knot into the hole, just like so. And then that cable or the cord will run up the back side of the, the rudder and it'll pull it up and let it down just like that. So pull our extra cord out there and make sure that works yeah, like a charm. There we go. Now we're going to go, we're going to move on to, um, I'm going to move up and see what I can do with the front of the 
rudder control cord here. Uh, make sure I can get that working correctly. And then we'll move back to the back and put on our cables. Cool. <clears throat> so we're gonna take our cleat facing forward and place it right here in the recess that's on the right side of your cockpit, just in front of where our rope came out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna center it up here as close as I can get to center on my recess here. Square and centered. I'm holding it with my thumb so that I can drill these out. I'm just gonna hold it real tight there. Stick my drill bit in, mark it there, Put it right in here, mark it again. So now I'm going to drill these two holes out. Perfect. So clean those up, get our shavings off. So, we'll take, sorry, the, the weather can't decide what it's going to do out here. It's, it was raining a second ago, I had to pull everything up, and now the sun's back out. But either way, we'll take our cleat, and it comes with uh, some small bolts. We'll stick, or screws, whichever way you call them. Stick those in there, and then we'll mount those in our holes. I've got nuts to stick on the other side of them, so we've got my screwdriver out here. Go ahead and screw those into the hole. Perfect. It's on there pretty much, and then I'll stick the nuts on the inside. Okay. Got the nut. Go ahead and stick it on the back there, get it started. There you go, and then tighten that down, and take the second nut, put it on the front one, and get that started. I'm going to go get a, a little wrench to hold the back of those so I can go ahead and tighten them down. Be right back. <clears throat> well, guys, since that shot a while ago, um, I went into the garage to get a wrench to tighten this up with, and it just started pouring down rain. So it rained for probably half an hour. You can tell everything's nice and wet out here. So uh, it did finally stop. The sun came out for a little bit, so I came back out to finish it. Uh, I got these tightened up and uh, got the camera all set up and it started sprinkling again so you can hear it sprinkling in the background but we're gonna see how much we can get done here so what I've done is I've got my uh, cord running from the rudder I ran it through the cleat here the clam cleat I believe is what it's called and I've got it where the rudder is all the way down so the strings all the way down in there as far as it needs to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the little rubber ball on it Just like that <clears throat> and now um, the the rudder that comes I guess from the factory for this boat has a lot less travel in it so you're supposed to have a bungee here and have this all kind of tied to a bungee so it when you let it down the bungee will keep it tight and so when you pull it up the bungee will keep it tight that way as well but this this rudder has so much play from from all the way down to all the way up that the bungee doesn't work that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tie the ball on down here pretty close to um, the cleat when in, in the all the way down position so if, if it's hanging it'll just hang right here beside the boat and then I'll tie the ball there and then when it's all the way up, pull up here um, I'll have it to where I'll put a little bungee here so I can put that uh, put the ball underneath the bungee and it'll keep it tight that way. It'll just be, you know, a little bit more work, but not terribly hard either. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball and the knot right here. Just gonna put an overhand knot in this to keep the ball there. The 
we go. So that'll keep the ball. So when you get ready, pull the rudder all the way up, cleat it in, and then and take this piece of bungee here, run it through this half moon deck piece right here, and that way I can, sh I'll tie this off here, that way I can stretch this piece out and over the ball to keep it up and out of the way. So that's not exactly the way it's, I mean, made from the factory, but it's the way it's gonna work for this. Cool, so before I cut this off, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my bungee. Go ahead and pull that through there. And we'll throw an overhand knot in here. There we go. Sorry, my phone was freaking out there for a second. So, throw an overhand knot in that. And then I'll pull it through. We'll cut off those tag ends later. But my idea is that it'll hold something like that. So it'll all be up and tight. And then when I want, I'll cut this end off. But when I want to let it down, I'll take that off there. And then pull it from the cleat, let it down. It'll just dangle right there. Sweet. There you go. So let me... Cut these tail ends off here real quick. My scissors. There we go. Get my lighter. Let's see if it still works after being out in the rain. I mean, it, it, it just started instantly a while ago and didn't give us a chance to put any of my stuff up. But kind of warm those up so they don't fray too bad. So we've got a little loop right there. Ahead. Pull that rudder up again, cleat it off. I'm going to go ahead and stick a second knot in here just to make that one a little bit bigger so the ball doesn't have any problem gripping it. Perfect. Keep my pliers again, make it nice and tight. go cut it off and then we'll burn the end of that one as well wet rope doesn't want to work quite as well as dry rope does so pull it all the way up clean it off and then stick that in there like that. So when the rudder's up, this will hold it in place. Keeps everything up and nice and taut. And then pull the little ball out there, release the cleat, let the all the way down. And it's just got a little there when it's down. So it shouldn't be in the way either way. We're gonna start on the left side here first. So I've taken the left uh, foot brace controller inside the kayak and I've put it to the all the way forward position where it would be um, if this was steering all the way to the left so so in the way the foot brace is sitting now this should be all the way to the left when we get it set so I've taken the uh, the cable piece here that's going to clamp our cable and we need to stick the end of our cable up through the end of it here all the way through basically and then go back back out the back side of the cable again so you have more or less put a loop in the cable so we'll slide that on there as far as we can this one is going to be turned this way to match the back of the boat here so it'll it'll latch on there correctly and then this wedge piece needs to go inside and get this in there so that when we pull the cable tight in here it'll wedge that piece down in it okay so turn we'll turn this all the way to the side here if I can get my hands out of the way so we can see what we're what we're doing here so we want it to where this cable 
it's just long enough to reach so we can put our pin in there so we need to pull all the slack we can out of there and then we'll add a little carter key right in here to this hole to keep our wedge in there and we'll add a pin whoops in there to keep that tight as well so this should be like it is so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the rudder all the way to the other side we're going to make sure our foot brace is in the forward position and then we're going to do the same thing as we did on this side before we cut anything off we want to make sure it's going to be in the right position and we've got everything more or less right because this way we can still pull it all out and adjust it so we're going to flip this all the way around to that side I'm going to go up and make sure the uh, foot peg is adjusted and then we're going to do this this other cable on the right side of the boat okay so now we've switched to the right side of the boat here we're going to take again our cable end get my cable up here stick it through pull it all out geez sharp <laughs> and then stick it all the way back through so we've got a loop here, move this down a little bit on there because we know it's going to be farther down. Before we pull that all the way in, we'll stick our wedge inside. So we pull, pull the wedge down. Okay, so I think we've got most of it there. We'll go ahead and add our quarter key in there. Just for the time being, we'll squeeze this over a little bit, put our pin in. So at this point, we should have it where we can move the rudder back and forth by using the controls inside the kayak. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these just a little short of where they would go back in there. I mean, they're not gonna be touching it anyway, but that way I've got plenty to of extra to use if I need to. So we'll just cut them off right there so we got rid of all the excess. Okay, so now we're gonna take our cable ends here and put them right on the end and then we'll just crimp them on there. Make sure your crimp's nice and tight. So you've got a nice end on your cable, and we'll do that to both sides as well. So we're gonna go ahead and, well, it's gonna be hard to see that. We've got some small split rings here. that are gonna go on the bottom of each side of this right here. Way on. So those won't be coming off. I'll take my needle nose pliers here and Bin my Carter key out so that won't be able to slip out. I'll do this on the same thing on the other side. There you go. So the back is complete here. We've got our ends here that are all finished, so that shouldn't shouldn't cause a problem there. Those pins are done. Those pins are done. So everything should be ready to go. Let's go. I'm going to go up to the front there real quick. Um, I'm going to retract it change both directions and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. So first, put it up, clean it off, let it down. All the way this way, all the way that way. A nice middle. Well guys, so hopefully hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, it took me maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, I don't really know how long it would have taken me because it rained halfway through. So, uh, but it wasn't terribly difficult. Everything seems to be working great. Uh, again, all the parts I got from Austin Kayak. The kayak itself I got from Oklahoma City Kayaks. It's a great place to buy boats if you're in the market for one. 
but uh, everything seems to be working great. We'll see the next time we get out on the water. Probably won't be today because it's already getting pretty late, but uh, we'll see you out there.